Hello insiders. This week we have a little bit of a preview or sneak peek of the Studio Beta. So I've been talking a lot about the Studio Beta during uh, news flashes so we thought we'd do a little bit of a deep dive to cover uh, some background about the project and uh, some stuff coming soon and then some of uh, uh, my favorite features from the Studio Beta so far. So the first thing is many of you may have been uh, already defaulted into the Studio Beta. If you haven't, you can always go to Classic Studio and you'll see a, a link in the top left corner saying Studio Beta, go check it out. Um, one of the things that uh, you might be wondering about is like, hey, why am I getting defaulted in here? Well, there's a few key reasons. The, the first reason is we wanna get more feedback on how we can improve the product. Um, because we want to make the studio beta, frankly, the future studio where classic won't uh, be around anymore. We're not there yet, obviously, but in order to get there, we really need a lot of creator feedback. And so if anybody has been uh, watching this, that's been giving the feedback, uh, we really appreciate it. We definitely read all those submissions in the send feedback link. Uh, in the product itself, and then even on Creator Insider in the comments when you share feedback about the Studio Beta. And we always share those with the team and it helps us prioritize what to improve next. Um, the second thing is we also want creators to start getting acquainted with the Studio Beta because in the long run, uh, it will be the permanent studio and it's really better for people to kind of get adjusted to it while they still have access to the classic experience um, rather than just sort of suddenly waking up and, and having to learn it uh, in a day. Um, so as we get closer, uh, we'll certainly keep uh, letting you know how we're improving it. Uh, some of the things that are really exciting that are in the works and will be available certainly before the end of this year, um, you know, if all goes according to plan, are end screens, and that's really far along. I tested it uh, internally. We actually got a lot of insider volunteers to help us uh, test, fit, test it as well. Uh, some, some early dog fooding, if you will, of the feature, and I think people have been finding some bugs and we've been fixing them, so I think we're getting close. Uh, info cards, I just looked at the designs for that. Th those have been approved, so now the engineers are, are getting started on uh, developing that, so then uh, that's probably a few months out, but uh, hopefully we'll get it soon. Uh, live integration is um, actively in development, also coming soon. Add to playlists and super chat. So those are some things that are not yet in Studio Beta, but are coming very soon, and we know that people want them, and so we're fast-tracking them. Okay, so now we talked about what's coming soon. Um, let's now look at some of the stuff that's already there that's particularly cool in case uh, you haven't tried it out yet, or um, maybe uh, you didn't know it was even there. So I'm going to do a little bit of screen sharing. Okay, so here we are in the Studio Beta. If you forgot how to get here and you're used to using Classic, this is Classic, the old one. Welcome to uh, the 1990s. Um, now, if you click on this top left link, YouTube Studio Beta, you can enter the future and see uh, where Studio, Studio is going. So here you got this nice dashboard. Uh, I'm gonna now go over five things that I like about the Studio Beta. Uh, the first one is when you hit the dashboard, you get this awesome um, snapshot card. Now, what's cool about the snapshot card is it actually compares the performance of your most recent video against uh, your last several videos, but it's, it's normalized, which means, you know, uh, if you compare the video you uploaded this week to a video you uploaded two weeks ago, that's not really fair in terms of comparing the number of views because the one two weeks ago has been around a lot longer, has accumulated a lot more traffic. Whereas uh, the one that you just uploaded, um, you know, has only been around for maybe a few hours or a few days. So we basically say, okay, look, let's look at the last three videos and let's look at their first, you know, N hours or Y days to line up with the current video and then compare apples to apples. So here you can see this myth busting video. There's old Todd and Barbara 
chicken butt. Um, that video is doing amazing. And you see here we have this cool leaderboard. If you hover over this bold thing, which personally I feel like it's a little bit of a hidden feature. Hopefully we can make that more discoverable in the future. In the future. But here you can see for the first one day in 21 minutes, which is exactly how long this video has been around, um, how it's performing. It's number one. Uh, usually they're not number one. But then you can see all the other ones and, and how, um, you know, number 10 is. And, and you can start get, getting a sense of how this video is performing and what your, your audience really likes. Um, you can also do it just against the previous video and it'll update the comparison. And it compares based on watch time, views, average view duration. You know, in the future, we'll probably compare like, you know, number of comments, shares, likes, things like that as well. So that's one, so that's number one. So the next thing is this news widget over here, which not only has uh, this little toggle ability, so you can see like other news, but it also is where we will put um, Creator Insider videos as well. So news flashes, sneak peeks like this one, uh, all will be there. So, um, you know, props to Marquez keeping it real, saying, hey, you guys don't, don't communicate well enough. You have stuff in these forums, you have it on Insider, but not everybody knows about Insider. Well, guess what? Insider and the studio dashboard are gonna be married. And uh, whenever Insider has videos, you'll see them on the dashboard. And so now hopefully more than 67,000 people will see it, but uh, a, a lot more than that. Um, so then there's this ideas for you uh, widget, which will have personalized recommendations. So that's dashboard is the first thing I, I'm a big fan of, uh, including the snapshot card. Uh, the next thing, a uh, little feature, but search. So you can search and the results will be just from your channel. So in the old studio, you'd search and it would actually give you like results from all across YouTube. So that's really nice. And then you can navigate quickly to the video and then see the analytics. This is the details area where you can change all your metadata, your thumbnail, the settings, things like that. Um, so search is really cool. Number three is YTA overall. There's a bunch of loud YouTube employees walking behind me. God bless them. All right, so if you go to analytics, here you see, oh man, so many cool things. So this is experimental. Most people won't get this right away, but um, let me know in the comments what you think about it. What you see here is a smart headline experiment, which is we're trying to see like, oh, how do we just summarize what's going on uh, in, in human language. So instead of having you read a bunch of charts and, and look at a bunch of numbers. So it says here, wow, your latest video is really taking off. It got um, uh, 4,500 4, views in the first 24 hours. You usually get 2,500 to 3,800 views. So this is 50% more views than normal, like good job. Uh, we also tell um, not good news, like if it's not performing well and maybe in the future we can say, oh, you know, maybe the thumbnail is not performing as well or maybe just people aren't as interested. Um, so that's something that, that's cool about YTA, uh, YouTube analytics. Um, here you got these little uh, overlays, you see that? And you can see when little spikes happen and timed with, um, with uploads. So you can see um, here I can change the date range uh, and I can even have custom date picker, which was a recent improvement, but let's go to last 90 days. And you see here like, whoa, these, these last two uploads have done really well. So this one might be, um, there were actually three videos published during this time. And then here there were two. And uh, I'm thinking that myth busting video is gonna do really well. Um, so, why uh, YouTube analytics? Oh, here's a new live activity card. And what's cool about this one is um, the live activity card will automatically uh, update without having to uh, refresh. So here, you see, it's like blinking. It's like alive. Ooh, that little circular animation. Um, so that's kind of cool. So YTA is the second thing. And then another thing that's in 
early development is a new editor. Now the editor, just to recap, is not going to replace, you know, the, the main editor you use before you upload. Like, likely you, you should just continue using that. Those are great, you know, whether it's iMovie or Premiere or Final Cut or whatever your favorite video editor is. But uh, the new Studio Beta editor will be focused on very YouTube specific types of edits. So let's here, let's go to that myth busting video. And here you see the editor option. Again, this is not everyone will have this right now, but hopefully very soon. But I'll just give you a sneak peek. Editing guys, like, easy, okay, yes, get started. So here, uh, it's kind of uh, got this nice uh, tracked kind of approach where you can add um, different elements like, oh, here's the where the um, the end screen shows up. So as you can see, we added the end screen from the Studio Beta. I can then, of course, change the zoom level. Um, and then later on, you can imagine, oh, maybe you should be able to add your info cards here too. So um, this is kind of fun. I think this new editor has a lot of potential and uh, hope to get your feedback on it soon as we start rolling that one out. So those are the five things that I am really excited about for the Studio Beta. The dashboard with the snapshot report, search, the overall YouTube analytics experience, and the editor. So those are, actually that's four. I guess if you, uh, let's call what's the, the what's new widget in dashboard number five. Okay, now um, we're almost out of time, probably gonna get kicked out. So I will find another room to do the next section of this video, which will be, uh, fun mean tweets and movie quote. Okay, so wrapping up, we'll now do, um, been getting a lot of feedback on good old Twitter about the Studio Beta. So I wanted to, uh, I haven't looked at, uh, at these. I'm just gonna search for uh, YouTube Studio Beta and we'll read out some tweets. Uh, and maybe I'll provide context if I can. <laughs> so from Sikora, YouTube Studio Beta is so bad looking, cluttered, confusing, hard to read text, so much waste of space. Who designed this mess? And that's from at I am Sikora. Uh, well, I'm part of the team that designed it, so I don't know, I feel like it's pretty good looking and it's not cluttered, but I do agree that there is a little bit of a waste of space. There's a lot of white space, like in the video list between the columns, such that you can only read like a few words from your headline and you're like, uh. So I agree with you, Sakura. Uh, we gotta improve it. But I wouldn't say it's a mess. Um, but you know, it's a free country. Uh, Proactive Alex, I don't like the YouTube Studio Beta. Okay, I feel you. Hopefully you'll you'll come around as we improve it. Um, uh, next one, the Taylor Haas, YouTube Studio Beta in effect. Hashtag Studio Beta. Yeah, man, you got it. Got a hashtag going. Okay, ooh. We got we got a good one. We got a good one. Good old Twitter. There's always there's always some some good news in there. From Austin Tatius, this. I really do like the YouTube Studio Beta. To me, it's very well organized. I'm looking forward to seeing what else they add to it. Yes, Austin, you should talk to Sakura, who clearly does not have that opinion. But I I'm glad you like. Um, what we're doing so far and hopefully we'll make it better. Uh, let's see. Checking out my channel, this is from Warriors Productions. Checking out my channel on YouTube's Creator Studio Beta. Team YouTube at YouTube. You guys did an amazing job on the beta. Hope to see more features soon. Yes! Yes! The team has actually been working on this thing for like well over a year. So, um, we, we do appreciate the encouragement 
and we also know we need to improve it, so we're working on it. Um, so I think those are enough. To, there's actually quite a lot of tweets. Um, actually, like some good, some good ones. So uh, appreciate you guys giving us the feedback. And I will wrap with a movie quote. Um, we got some feedback in the comments that all of my movie quotes are um, war movies. Um, that is that is that's probably true. Um, I do enjoy that genre. But uh, so this one's going to be a little bit more diverse. This comes from a request from one of our team members who um, she thinks this would be a much more uh, interesting movie quote. So here it goes. You ready? You have no style or sense of fashion. No, no, that wasn't a question. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's the quote. See if you get it. Put it in the comments. And thanks, guys. Hope you uh, hope this was helpful. See you next week. Keep it real. <laughs>